is going on, everybody? Dan, I'm Belcher checking out Spiral Shades. Darkest Night. Never heard of Spiral Shades, but it is a pretty good band name. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And this comes from a patron. Moogle, appreciate you as always. If you guys have any requests, hit me hit me up. And there should be some something over there, too. Anyway, let's check this out. Darkest Night. This is a decent band named Spiral Shades. It's all right. Tool-esque vibe. Tool-esque. Fuck it, Tool goes out the window. Definitely not Tool. Young Black Sabbath-ish. There we are. The Paranoid album? There will never be, I don't give a shit if the singer himself tells me he's never heard a single Black Sabbath song in his entire life. I will say he's full of shit. Because this, heavily influenced, not a bad thing, that's a great thing. Black Sabbath and Ozzy have like influenced, come on now, countless, countless groups and bands. This has to be one of them. Has to be. Like the cadence of the vocal is so young Ozzy. And I love young Ozzy. So that's great. Yes, the act of being afraid of light you need to know. The hidden dark and fears that brings you to your knees. Nothing's left to say, I carry on with my life. I have traveled the dark. That was freaky. <laughs> Whoever did the art for this, it got, might have been on acid. Whoa. Crazy.
Whoever, they spent a lot of time on this lyric video, and it's well worth it. This is a great lyric video. It's like two separate songs entirely when they had that little break there. It all just says Darkest Night, but it is... It feels like two separate songs. That's a nice rip. That's how they should have ended it. I wish more bands did that, because I say it sometimes. Like, they introduce a good riff. Like, that, that was... A really good, good, like, riff at the end there. Extremely catchy. Like, it... After the second time, it, the second loop it went through, stuck in my head already. And instead of, like, bringing the, the chorus back or bringing in more vocals, they just ended it with that and just let that ride for a minute. It's nice. I, I wish more bands did it, because a lot of times they'll introduce a really catchy, nice riff, and then they'll bring something back. It's like, well, we were kind of... We were we kind of were okay with that riff letting us like ride into the sunset. This one did that, but yeah, very young Black Sabbath ish, paranoid album ish, which is a great thing. That's a great thing because it's like this type of music is kind of faded out for the most part. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't get this type of stuff. I don't even know what to call, like. What would you call this genre exactly? Kind of like back in the day they would call Ozzy Black Sabbath metal, but that's. It's not really metal anymore. You know what I mean? The, the classification of metal has kind of changed. But whatever it is, it's good stuff. Classic metal? Classic rock-ish? Whatever. Whatever it is, it's pretty damn good. It's like it had a mix of, again, Aussie-ish, with like a, a White Stripes kind of vibe. A little bit. A little. Just kind of like slam them together. Spiral Shades. And phenomenal music video. That had to take someone, some... Poor intern or or graphic artist took forever to do that. That that was tough, especially when the words started coming at you. I I felt uneasy. <laughs> it gave a weird depth perception thing. It was coming right at me. Good stuff though. Good stuff. 
Let me know what you guys think down below about Spiral Shades. Darkest Night. I also like that. I don't think they said Darkest Night at all in the song, but all the lyrics were like painting this picture of, you know, a really shitty Darkest Night. You can't sleep, can't chase his dreams, this whole thing. But never really said it. Nice. A real one. Oh, man. Fucking. It, the screen went black and all of a sudden an eye pop up. And then as the eye opened, every guitar string, every like. What, what can I think of the fucking words that? Strum? Whatever. Pluck? What the hell is my brain doing? But whatever. Every time they play the guitar, every time a note would hit, another layer around of the guy's eyelid would pop up, which was freaky in itself. But then, suddenly, every strum, whatever, <laughs> the eyelid wrinkle would, like, fold into itself until the eye just closed. That's why I could never have done any hallucinogens. I would not, this would not have sit, sat well with me. I, I would have, I'd, be, I'd be in the corner like a glass of orange juice. <sighs> Yikes.